Hello, second graders. Today we are going to do our vocabulary. Our anchor text this week is a biography, which is a story written about a person who really lived by someone else. So our anchor text this week is titled Helen Keller. There we go. And as this is coming up here, we have a picture of Helen Keller here on the left in both of our photographs here and Ann Sullivan, um, the person that helped Helen Keller um, as she was growing up. So you'll learn more about the two of them and the relationship that they had as you're reading our anchor text for this week. So our first word is behavior. I say it, you say it, behavior. Let's clap the syllables in behavior. Behavior. There are three syllables in behavior. The word behavior, it means the way someone or something acts, what they do. Okay, so behavior is the way a person or um, maybe an animal, um, the way that someone or something acts. I say it, you say it, behavior. Our next one is curious. I say it, you say it, curious. Let's clap the syllables in curious. Curious. Three syllables in curious. The word curious means that you want to know something. You have a curiosity. You want to know a little bit more about something. I say it, you say it, curious. Good. Our next word is imitated. I say it, you say it, imitated. Let's clap the syllables in imitated. Imitated. Let's clap that one more time. Imitated. How many syllables in imitated? Right, four syllables and imitated. Our root word or base word of imitated is imitate. Okay, so um, when you've imitated someone, you're copying or doing the same thing as someone else. So you're doing what someone else is doing. You're imitating them. I say it, you say it, imitated. Good. Our next word is motion. I say it, you say it, motion. Whoops. Let's clap the syllables in motion. Motion. Motion has two syllables. The word motion simply means moving around. It's movement. Motion is movement. I say it, you say it, motion. Okay. Our next word is illness. I say it, you say it, illness. Let's clap the syllables in illness. Illness. Two syllables in illness. Our root word or base word of illness is ill. Um, so when you have an illness, it means you're being sick or you're not feeling well. You have a cold or you're, something is wrong. You're not feeling the best. I say it, you say it, illness. Our next word is silence. I say it, you say it, silence. Let's clap the syllables in silence. Silence. Two syllables in silence. Silence means that it's totally quiet. There's no noise at all. I say it, you say it, silence. Our next word is darkness. I say it, you say it, darkness. Let's clap the syllables in darkness. Darkness. Our root word or base word of darkness is dark. So darkness means that there's no light. And our next word is knowledge. I say it, you say it, knowledge. Let's clap the syllables in knowledge. Knowledge. Two syllables in knowledge. Our word, whoops. Knowledge simply means information or facts. You get information. And that is our last word for today. So as we are listening to and reading our anchor text this week, you need to be paying close attention to the relationship between Ann Sullivan and Helen Keller. And I want you to also be thinking about the importance of what was wrong with Helen Keller. I want you to think about how difficult her life was until she met Ann Sullivan. So as you're reading, I want you to really be paying close attention to how difficult her life was prior to meeting Ann Sullivan.